The Academy of Country Music Awards are this Sunday. Of course, they air right here on CBS. And today we're thrilled to be uh, talking with Kenny Chesney about the big show. Hi, Kenny. Nice to see you. Good to see you, too. First of all, congratulations on your uh, four nominations. Well, thank you very much. I, I'm really excited about it. Um, you know, I've, I've been fortunate enough to, 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 to win several of these awards, and they all, that they, they never gets old. It's, 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 uh, it's the ultimate compliment in what we do. Well, and it says that um, you've won Entertainment of the, Entertainer of the Year four consecutive times, and so if you win this time, it'll be your fifth win. What would that mean to you? Well, it would be historic. I mean, to win it four times was historic for me, but uh, to, to have won it five times, uh, you know, I'm sure if that happens, it'll feel just like the first one. I hope it does anyway, and because I, it, it, like I said, it's to be to have that honor. It, it's the ultimate in what we do, and um, I think it just reflects the relationship with the fans that we have, and um, it's very special. You know, every time we come to San Francisco, it's a great night, and um, and uh, I'm proud of that. And I want to talk to you a little bit about your relationship with your fans because you do have a new movie coming out. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that and let us know how you kind of uh, connect with your fans in the movie. Well, you know, I just want to document that connection. I want to document the connection with the, with the people that come see us play and how much passion they have for what we do and how much passion they have for the music. And, you know, and how much passion they have for the experience of it all. And there's so many nights that I, I'll be on stage, even in the middle of a song, and I, say, I wish these fans could see what I see and I wish they could feel what I feel when I'm up here. And now with um, this 3D film, they're going to get to see that and feel that because not only are they going to be on the, out in the audience, but they're going to be on stage with us. They're going to be a part of the, part of the show. Well, Kenny, you've been performing since 1993. Has the connection with you and your fans changed since then, or has it just gotten stronger? Oh, it's just gotten better, stronger and better. Um, this is the one thing that I'm the most proud of about my career is that the, I felt like we built our fan base the right way, and it was slowly but surely. And there's, you know, the connection that I have is unbelievable. I got a very eclectic bunch of people coming to see us play, and they, um, I tell you, when they have a, they have a great energy, and when the energy that we put out with the music and their energy towards us meet, it's a it's an incredible moment. I can imagine. You're kind of a busy man these days. You're performing this weekend at the big awards show. You have the new movie coming out, and you're also working on a new album this fall. How do you do it all? <laughs> I, am, I don't know, really, but I am doing it. And um, <laughs> one day at a time right now, you know, but, uh, but it's a good busy. I'm very busy, but it's a good busy. And, uh, and I'm excited about everything that's on our plate right now. And, but after the movie comes out, I'm going to get away from it a little bit, you know, and uh, quit being me for a minute. And so so, so <laughs> I can get ready to release this record. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I haven't done it in 17 years, so, so I'm going to try. You're going to quit being Kenny, huh? Well, <laughs> well uh, not too long, but just for a minute. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk <laughs> a little bit about uh, you're nominated for your work with Dave Matthews. Uh, a lot of people yeah. might not see you two together. Talk a little bit about how you guys got involved in working together. Well, we, I met Dave at Farm Aid several years ago uh, with him and uh, Neil Young and uh, Willie Nelson. We all, they do that every year, and so uh, and so Dave and I was our friendship just kind of grew throughout the you know since then, and uh, we sang together on stage one night in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, realized that we had a lot of the same people listening to our music, and realized that our music was pretty universal like that, and and so. Um, we decided that night we were going to work together in some capacity. Didn't know how or when, but when I wrote the song "I'm Alive," just melodically, it fit both of us really well. And and it, it you know, I think you're right. I mean, I, th I think it is. Uh, some people might think it'd be odd a guy from that, you know, from South Africa and a guy from East Tennessee would have anything musically in common. But I think it just shows how powerful music really is. Yeah, it really does transcend. Uh all forms. So, Kenny, I wish you the best of luck this weekend. We're hoping thank for number five. I could talk to you all day, but uh, other people want to chat with you, too. So thank you so thank much. Thank you very much, Monique. I appreciate it.